Om Shanti. Today is Sunday, 27th of November, 2022. Let us listen to the Avyakt Bap Dada's Murli on this Sunday, which was originally held on 31st of December, 1992. The essence of today's Avyakt Murli is the way to attain success is to use everything in a worthwhile way. Essence once again. The way to attain success is to use everything in a worthwhile way. Om Shanti Today, the father, the creator who bestows a new life, is seeing his children who are creating a new life. This new life, that is, this elevated Brahmin life, is for creating the new age. The new life of every Brahmin soul is created for bringing about the new age in which everything will be the newest of all. Even matter will be Satopradhan, that is, it will be new. Baba says, people of the world celebrate the new year and they give new year greetings and then they even give gifts as a token for the new year. However, the father and you give greetings for the new age. You give all souls the good news that the new age, that is, the golden world, the age of truth, heaven, is about to come. This is the service you do, is it not? This is the good news that you give everyone and you give a golden gift for the new age. What gift do you give? You give the fortune of the kingdom of the world for birth after birth, for many births. All other gifts are included in this golden gift. No matter how great or beautiful a gift that people give in this world may be, what can they give? Even if someone gives a crown or a throne of today, what is that compared to your Sato Pradhan golden gift? Is it anything big? Baba asks. So today Baba is telling us as a revised Murli of 31st of December 1992, that whereas people give New Year gifts to each other, here we are giving the Sato Pradhan gift of a golden life for 21 births. Baba says, However, the Father, the creator of the new life, has given all of you an invaluable, imperishable gift. Each of you has claimed a right to it, have you not? What do Brahmin souls say? with the sparkle of the intoxication of their unbreakable faith, that the fortune of the kingdom of the world is their birthright. Do you have this much sparkle of intoxication? Baba asks us. Or does it sometimes decrease and sometimes increase? You have this faith and it is fixed. No one can prevent the destiny of you claiming this right. This destiny is fixed for souls whose intellects have faith. Is it fixed? Nischit? Or do you have some worries? Do you have chinta? I don't know whether I will receive it or not. Do you ever have this thought? I don't know whether. If you are a Brahmin, it is fixed. Brahmins will become angels and angels will become deities. So, you have this strong faith, do you not? Baba asks, or is there some slight fluctuation? Is it unshakable and immovable? The father has given you such a golden gift. So what will you do with it? You will give it to others. If a gift is for a temporary period, when that temporary period finishes, even the gift finishes. But this imperishable gift will remain with you for every birth. So in effect, Baba says, be nischit and be nischint without chinta. The true celebration is the celebration of the new age. But every day in this confluence age is for celebrating. Every day is a day for staying in pleasure. Every day is for swinging in the swings of happiness, for dancing in happiness and for singing imperishable songs. This is why you celebrate every day of your Brahmin life. For Brahmins, Every day is a festival for increasing your zeal and enthusiasm. This is why, as a memorial of this, people celebrate many festivals in Bharat. It is well known that every day of the year in Bharat is for celebrating. 
there aren't as many festivals anywhere else as there are in Bharat. And so, this is a memorial of you Brahmins celebrating every day. This is why you are also celebrating New Year's Day. You have come to celebrate New Year's Day. So, Baba asks, will you just celebrate for one day? Will your celebration finish as soon as the first finishes? The new life of you elevated souls, that is, the elevated star sign of Brahmin life, is of celebrating every day. It is to have a festival every day. It is written in your horoscope that every day constantly has to be the most elevated of all. The elevated star sign of you Brahmin souls is that of a constantly flying stage. It isn't that two of your days will be very good and that after the two days there will be a difference. That Tuesday will be good, Thursday will be better and that you will have obstacles on Friday. Is your star sign like that? Baba is asking us. We should check and reply. Whatever is happening is good and whatever is to happen will be even better. This is called the star sign of the flying stage of Brahmins. The star sign of a Brahmin life is changed because it is a new birth. So this year look at your elevated star sign every day and then put it into practical. Baba says according to the world it is New Year's Day and according to you Brahmins you are especially celebrating the Avyakt year. So you are beginning the new year that is the Avyakt year. Constantly remember the special slogan for this new year that is this Avyakt year. The special way to attain constant success is to use every second, every breath and every treasure in a worthwhile way. To use everything in a worthwhile way is the basis for attaining success. No matter what type of success you wish to attain, whether in your thoughts, words, deeds, connections or relationships, if you want to experience any type of success, then Continue to use everything in a worthwhile way. Do not let anything be wasted. Use it in a worthwhile way for yourself and for other souls and you will automatically continue to experience the happiness of success. This is because to use everything in a worthwhile way means to attain success for the present and to accumulate for the future. The result of you using time in a worthwhile way in this birth is that you will claim a right to your fortune of the kingdom for the full time of the kingdom. When you use your every breath in a worthwhile way, the result of that is that you will remain healthy for many births. Your breathing will not stop when you are moving along. You will not have heart failure. For one, you claim a right to a thousand-fold success. What does Baba say? There will be no Akali Mrityu. And for one, you claim a right to a thousand-fold success. In the same way, you must continue to use all your treasures in a worthwhile way. In that too, you must use the special treasure of knowledge in a worthwhile way. Knowledge means understanding. As a result of doing that, you will become so sensible that you will not need to take advice from the many advisors in the future. You yourself become sensible and rule your kingdoms. The second treasure is the treasure of all powers. The more you use the treasure of powers, that is, the more you use them in a worthwhile way, you will accordingly not lack any power in your future kingdoms. All the powers automatically give you the experience of success in every task you perform of being free from obstacles, unshakable and constant. Not a single power would be lacking. You will have both the authorities of religion and ruling at the same time. The third treasure is the treasure of all virtues. As a result of this, you will become embodiments of virtues in such a way that even today, in the final time, your non-living images are praised as the deities who are full of all virtues. In the same way, churn the result 
of the success of using every treasure in a worthwhile way do you understand have a heart to heart conversation about this among yourselves so in this avyakt year baba says use everything in a worthwhile way and continue to experience success you are especially celebrating this avyakt year out of love for father brahma the sign of love is that whatever the one you love loves that would also be loved by the one who has love so what did brahma baba especially love he had love for the murli he had the greatest love for the murli and this is why he became murli dhar that is one who plays the flute this is why he also becomes the murli dhar in the future he had love for the murli and so in the future they show a symbol of the murli that is flute in the form of sri krishna so the sign of love is to have love for everything that the father had love for therefore baba says do not be just those who say brahma baba was very lovely and lovable but what is the sign of that let your love for everything that baba had love for be constantly visible this is known as having love for brahma baba otherwise it would be said that you are those who have number wise love it would not be said those who have number one love but those who have number wise love the aim of this avyakt year is to show the sign of love for the father in a practical way this is celebrating in other words you call this becoming equal to the father whatever actions you perform specially underline that before performing any action before uttering any words before having any thoughts check whether they are like brahma babas do you have this sign of love in that case put that thought into practice say those words with your lips and perform those actions with your physical organs first of all check and then do it in a practical way let it not be i didn't think of that but it just happened no the particular speciality of father brahma is that he did whatever he thought he did whatever he said because this is new knowledge he had so much opposition however by having the awareness of his self respect by having the power of the father's company with the weapons of determination and faith and with power he remained constantly unshakable and immovable on the seat of his position so when you are in your position what can opposition do opposition makes you strong in your position it doesn't shake you it makes you strong the practical proof of your being victorious and service in all four directions being victorious is those who previously used to say that you people were those who create upheaval dhamal now say they show wonders kamal that is people say that we were doing dhamal earlier are now acknowledging that we are doing kamal so how did this happen you finished the opposition by using your elevated position so baba is now asking us so what will you do this year father brahma on the basis of faith and on the basis of spiritual intoxication became the knower of the fixed destiny and used everything in a worthwhile way in a second he did not keep anything for himself but used it all in a worthwhile way the visible evidence of that was that even until his last day he did physical service by writing letters and speaking the elevated versions with his lips even on the last day he used his time thoughts and body in a worthwhile way so the sign of love is to use everything in a worthwhile way to use everything in a worthwhile way means to use it in an elevated way if you constantly have the aim of achieving success anything wasteful will automatically finish just as darkness is automatically finished by light if you continue to think dispel the darkness dispel the darkness time is wasted and effort is also wasted 
so do not make such effort today i became angry today i became greedy today i listened to something wasteful today i said something wasteful today i did something wasteful while thinking and making effort in that way you will become disheartened but by having the aim of using everything in a worthwhile way all the wasteful will automatically finish the aim of using everything in a worthwhile way is to bring about light and so darkness is automatically dispelled what do you have to do in this avyakti year bab dada will see whether you became those who have love in a number one way or number wise will all of you become number one baba asks what will the double foreigners become will you become number one it is very easy to say number one if you have a firm aim you will definitely imbibe the qualifications the aim draws the qualifications create a plan among yourselves think about this pap dada is pleased if everyone becomes number one then he becomes very pleased the first division is a long one you can become that everyone is in first in the first division everyone is first in the first division so congratulations for the new year in which all of you will become the number 1 if you win against the wasteful you will become number 1 if you do not win against the wasteful you will not become number 1 even now the account of wastefulness is not finished baba is saying for some it is in their thoughts for some it is in their words and for some it is in their relationships and connections the account has not fully finished that is why it still emerges every now and then the aim will definitely make you reach your destination the moment you tell wasteful things to stop they should stop when you have the power to stop the stock of old accounts will finish you should have that much power you have godly success those who have occult powers show temporary miracles but you who have godly success attain success by using the right method what can godly success not attain the moment you think stop you put a stop to it do you have that much power or is it that even after you say stop it takes one or two days one hour or 10 hours to stop stop means stop so you have to show the father this sign do you understand baba asks the success in service and revelation will increase according to the drama anyway it is increasing now is it not previously you used to give invitations but you are now receiving invitations and so the revelation of success in service is taking place is it not you need not to be given a stage or a degree for this is the revelation of service what is that degree compared to the degree received from god baba is giving the example of udaipur university which presented dadi ji with a doctorate degree baba is asking what is that degree compared to the degree received from god this is also a means of revelation so service is being revealed through this means you will definitely receive a ready made stage the day will come when the leaders of religion will invite you and make you the chief guests now they have to keep their external formalities but they internally feel that you pure souls should receive the seat the political leaders even say that you make them into chief guests but that it would be better if you became those however within the drama their names are mentioned your task is accomplished just as revelation in service is taking place and the methods are changing in the same way all of you have to bring about the revelation of perfection and completion in yourselves there is a need for this now and you will then definitely become complete the memorial in every cycle shows that your success is already guaranteed what is the rosary of victory you become victorious you become embodiments of success 
and this is why there is the memorial so you cannot prevent this destiny no matter how much someone thinks that not so many are ready as yet or that there are still complications as yet there is no need to be afraid about this there is the memorial of the guarantee of success every cycle what will happen how will it happen there is no need for these questions it has to happen it is fixed is it not no one can shake the fixed destiny if the boat and the boatman are strong then storms become the means for making the boat move forward the storms tufan become a gift tofa this is why there are by plots in between and they too will continue however the unshakable destiny is fixed do you have this much faith or do you sometimes become afraid when you see yourself fluctuate i don't know how it will happen i don't know when it will happen are there these question marks baba asks us these storms will become a gift tufan will become a tofa do you understand this is called becoming victorious by having your intellect having faith simply follow the father acha to all the victorious souls whose intellects have unshakable faith to the souls who are embodiments of success by using every treasure in a worthwhile way to those who easily follow father brahma at every step to the powerful souls who maintain the awareness of their new life and the new age to the special souls who reveal the signs of love for the father congratulations love remembrance and namaste for the elevated transformation and for the avyakt year and we the children also say namaste to our spiritual father today bab dada is meeting the dadis you are happy seeing the scenes of the drama are you not wah drama wah wah baba wah this song continues eternally and everlastingly the children reveal the father and the father reveals the shakti army that was good service there has to be a new form of doing service let the words baba baba continue to emerge from everyone's lips because he is the world father the word baba of course emerges from the hearts and lips of brahmin souls but now let baba emerge from the hearts and lips of all souls for only then will there be completion whether it emerges in the form of o prabhu or wah baba they definitely have to be introduced to the word baba so you have now experienced the way of doing service and of how much service one mic can do the task of giving the message becomes accomplished so you now have to prepare mics this one was a sample baba is giving the example of governor of rajasthan dr m chinna reddy after all bharat claimed a number in preparing mics so you have to prepare them in this way now abu prepared the mic of rajasthan and not just rajasthan the arrow was shot from abu acha today's blessing may you be filled with all attainments and have the alokic happiness and intoxication of having god's love and of having godly rights blessing once again may you be filled with all attainments and have the alokic happiness and intoxication of having god's love and of having godly rights baba explains the children who are always combined with the father and say with love my baba receive godly gifts godly rights the unlimited bestower fills them with all attainments they claim a right to all three worlds they then sing the song i have attained what i wanted to attain nothing more now remains to be attained pana tha so pa liya aur kya baki raha they receive a guarantee for 21 births maintain this alokic happiness and intoxication of having found everything finally the slogan for today do not let your spiritual endeavor 
be based on the facilities do not let the facilities become an obstacle to your spiritual endeavor slogan once again baba says do not let your spiritual endeavor be based on the facilities sadhana sadhan ka aadhar nahi banna chahiye do not let the facilities become an obstacle to your spiritual endeavor acha om shanti